President Donald Trump announces the gradual reopening of a U.S. economy hours after job losses reached 22 million in the past month. New York Federal Reserve Bank President John Williams warns it will probably take a year or two, if not longer, for the U.S. economy to recover. Trump says some states are already free from the impact of the coronavirus and therefore can open literally tomorrow. While new cases are diminishing, deaths remain at a frightening rate. U.S. fatalities joined the nearly 140,000 killed by the disease worldwide. Meantime, 17 congressional Republicans urged Trump to hold U.S. funding for the World Health Organization until its chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus resigns, adding they had lost faith in Tedros's leadership. Trump announced Tuesday the U.S. would halt payments to the U.N. body that amounted to $400 million last year. He accused it of mismanaging the crisis and covering up the seriousness of the COVID-19 outbreak in China before it spread. 